Hello, this is Slingshot120, and welcome back to a Forza video. And in today's video, I just wanted to say things I'm hoping Forza does this decade. Mainly because, you know, they now have two year periods to make games instead of. Actually, it's always been two. Okay, now they have more time to make games instead of the two that they've always had. And here's just six things I hope that they can do a lot better in this decade. Which, to start off with, better physics. Because Motorsports has pretty good physics, but when Forza Motorsports 7 came out, if you tapped a car and you were going like 5 miles an hour quicker and none of you were hitting the brakes, you would ricochet the guy you hit in the, into the stratosphere for whatever reason. But otherwise now Motorsports 7 physics are actually pretty good. The main one I'm talking about is Horizon because its physics just allow for so much weirdness, it's annoying at this point, because half the time it's like, oh hey, you can have, like, 195 width, like, dry-rotted tires, a thousand horsepower, and half the time you'll be quicker in a straight line than a rear-wheel drive drag car with slicks and, like, 1800 horsepower. And the other stuff of, if you've ever played Playground Games, when you hit say, like, a wooden pallet in a truck, you don't drive over it, it stays in front of you and, like, sometimes even blocks you, and it's like, you're in a truck, you should just be able to, you know, run it over. But otherwise, yeah, that's it really for physics. Otherwise, the next one is the car list. I'm hoping, and, you know, this might be too much, because the problem the game has now is, you know, they're having to base the physics and you know, the storage off of the base Xbox One. So, you know, I'm hoping this new Xbox mini fridge looking thing actually has some storage so they can do what I'm about to say. But I feel like for a standard from this point until like the next major Xbox console is get every single car that's ever been in a Forza game and have that as the base car list. Because if you think about it, the, the car list would be way more diverse. Because at this point, like, the new Audi R8 V10 and the first gen R8 V10, they're both S1 cars. At this rate with the Class PI, the R8 with the V8 might be an A-class car, so technically, it, like, it just spreads diversity around. And plus, like, some of the older cars we had in Forza games, and I'm not saying, you know, like, Gumpert's where it's like, you know, that's a whole licensing issue because that car company doesn't exist. But I'm talking, like, EG, like, EK, Civics, and just, like, cars that they take out because they're older. Like, if you look at, like, Horizon mainly, because Motorsports isn't as bad, but if you look at Horizon, it's like, in Horizon 3, we had the Camaro SS, the 6th Gen, and the 5th Gen Z28. Horizon 2, we had the Z28 as a DLC car, but in the base game, we had a 5th Gen ZL1. And in Horizon 3... Actually, no. Yeah, Horizon 3, we had the ZL1, the 6th Gen, as a DLC. And now in the new game, we only have the ZL1 and the Z28. Because imagine if we could have, like, every generation of SS, Z28, and ZL1... Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, most people prefer the older generations. Like, I myself would much rather have a 5th gen Z20... I was about to say Z28. I would much rather have a 5th gen ZL1 than any other Camaro that's ever been made. And, you know, that's just personal opinion. And, you know, who's gonna argue with more cars? The other thing is, I hope for the third thing... I hope they just increase the power limit, like I know I talked about it in the Supra video I made, but just having like the ability to make any car have like a thousand plus horsepower would just be really nice. And you know, refreshing. Otherwise, the next one, and this is the map, a bigger and more detailed map, because ever since Horizon 2, which came out on the Xbox One, and Horizon 4, which also still came out on what is technically an Xbox One, they haven't gotten bigger or more detailed. Like, yes, the scenery's different, so you can argue one's more detailed than the other, 
but otherwise like the areas you can drive in you practically have the same real estate as the second game to the third to the fourth so if they could just make a map now I don't know how much bigger they can make it with the new physics engine and engine overall for the game that they're gonna use on the new Xbox mini fridge but you know maybe like four times a bigger map would be would be really good like that would be enough you know if you can only do like two times as big you know that's you know bigger is better and when I say detail I mean like you don't like sometimes half the roads you drive on they feel like the same roads as like half the roads on the map so you could like make every road in the map feel completely different and separate to the whole map that would also be a lot better Otherwise, the fifth thing is more customization all around, and what I mean by that is, you know, just like, even if you have to make your own body kits, just make your own, like, body kits, or, like, spoilers, because, yeah, the way that we're limited now, where, like, only some cars have wide body kits, and the only customization we can really do is paint, change aftermarket rims, and, you know, we can put on a Forza front splitter, and a wing, which half the time they look pretty ugly on the car. You know, if we could just have like more customizable stuff and interiors and wheels and that stuff, it would be, you know, it would literally be like everything on this list. No one would argue with it, it would just be better. And the sixth one is more of a thing that I have a problem with, with Horizon 3, like partially, and all of Horizon 4 is the DLC and the car pass because the DLC on Horizon 3 it was good they introduced snow in Blizzard Mountain and they gave us the Hot Wheels which you know it's pretty fun because you know it's Hot Wheels why wouldn't it be and otherwise in Horizon 4 we got Misfortune Island which offered zero content no real online so you know that was just kind of a flop and Lego expansion which the same thing as Misfortune Island, it was popular for like a week. Now no one plays it anymore. The only good thing that came out of that DLC was a racetrack and that was about it. Which by the way, that better become a standard in the map. Like racetracks, that better become a standard too. Otherwise, the um, car pass is mainly what I'm disappointed with because in Horizon 3, like at least half the cars I could say were good additions. Like. You know, they were usable, stuff people wanted. Otherwise, in Horizon 4, like, off the top of my head, I can only think of three cars people actually wanted. Out of, like, what, the 40 that they gave us? Like, not even, nowhere even close to, like, an eighth of the list is actually wanted. Because it's like, who actually begged for an old Ford van with 50 horsepower? Who actually wanted that? Like, they just need to, like, they actually just need to look at the community page. Because if you actually believe they're looking at their community pages and taking you seriously, <laughs> you're, you're in for a surprise. They don't care. I mean, they're now starting to care because their game's dying, but that's caring out of desperation, not caring because they're caring. But anyways, that's all. I just hope that, you know, at least a couple of these can be brought up in the next decade. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in the next episode. I'm out. Peace.